Jehovah. You are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. Lift your hands, everybody. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. Lift your hands, everybody. Jehovah, 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 come on, Jehovah. your hands. Say, Father, I thank you for my life. Please shout it. Say, Father, I'm grateful for what you have done for me. Say, eternal Father, take all the glory. Take all the honor in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout in the name of Jesus. Say, tonight I command my heavens to be opened. Shout it tonight. I command my heavens to be opened in the name of Jesus. I command the release of angels in the name of Jesus. So I prophesy over my life that I am leaving with my miracle. I'm leaving with my testimony in Jesus' name. Clap your hands, everybody. All right, you're welcome. I wanted to leave your seat and go and talk to somebody and tell the person it's good to see you. Happy Easter. And how are you? Just go to 10, 15, 20. Go and talk to somebody. Come on. Go and talk to somebody. Come on. Come on. Go and talk to somebody right now. Go and talk to somebody. Go and talk to somebody. Welcome somebody to church. Welcome somebody. Don't don't sit down. Don't sit down. You got to get up. Come on. Nana win you money me woman baby ring. A radi utia uye nyame. Debia uye nyame ane and tina uton good na wenai. Debia uye kasi. Yagasizamo vata won goma. When yame would ya uya kasizam. Wobi a run to me, mre was it I put ye nina run ye kumami yan go pon kuwa ya do one no wapet. 
Apa tiye nyinaran kutu mami nyanku pon kuwa O fatai yang gaza Wain kuran ebe tu mini wo Apri wain hini ye Nami suradi nyanku pon ne e O suwadi ye nyinaran Nane nasin kau wudi Watu man kuma Hey Shiran kau wudi wain Watu man kuma Hallelujah Mebo di na jirobia Goodbye word I stay the longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stay the longer with you I made up my mind to go God's way The rest of my life I made up my mind to go God's way The rest of Goodbye word Come on I stay the longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stayed all longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, follow me. Come on. Come on, everybody. There. On that day. On the day of Pentecost. Fire, follow me. Oh, 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 oh. On the day of Pentecost, fire open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Come on, say, open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me, Baba. Oh. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man, the winner man. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man. Oh, he's the winner man. You got to shout and sing it to God. Come on. The winner man, the winner man. I am on the, I am on the winning side, the winning side, the winning side. I am on the winning side, the winning side. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 He paid a debt he did not owe. I owe a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Lord Jesus paid a debt that I could not. He paid a debt, he paid a debt he did not owe. I owe a debt I could not pay. I needed to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Lord Jesus paid a debt that I, he paid a debt, he paid a debt he did not owe. I owe a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Hey, now I can sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Lord Jesus paid a debt that I could. He paid a debt, he paid a debt, he did not owe. I owe a debt, I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing the brand new song, Amazing Grace. Lord Jesus paid a debt. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Say, Father. So they say, Father, I declare. You know what? Let's, you know what? We are going to take this to one prayer. I'm going to take the offering. I'm going to go into the word of the Lord. All right. How many of us are excited about tonight? How many of us are excited about tomorrow? 
All right, listen. Listen. If you cannot be happy for Easter, I wonder whether you are a, a good Christian. Because Christians, this is our power. You understand? Because when you are challenging your religion, the only thing you say is that when Jesus died, he woke up. He rose again. That is what we have. That's our testimony. So you got to be happy during Easter. Lift your hands. Say, Father. Say, Father. Say, Father. Shout to say, Father. I declare my heavens are opened in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father. This Easter season, I command the blood of Jesus to speak for me in the name of Jesus. As I clap my hands, I activate the blood of Jesus to speak for me. Clap your hands, pray right now. You got to pray. I want to hear prayer. You got to clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands. You got to activate the blood. Activate the blood of Jesus over your life, over your family. Activate the blood. Activate the blood. Activate the blood. Lampaya da bari anda la basa baya, la paya da baya bala ba, la paya da baya baya, la paya da baya baya ba, la paya da baya bala baya ba, la paya da baya bala baya, la paya da baya bala ba, sha paya da bari anda la baya ba. Somebody pray, 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 la paya da bari. Lift your hands. Say, Father, I thank you for the blood over my life. I thank you for the blood over my family. I thank you for the blood. I thank you for victory. I thank you for power. You got to shout it. I say, I thank you for power in the name of Jesus. I'm just preaching for 21 minutes. That the blood is going to speak for you. Genesis chapter 4 verse 10. I would want to introduce this as my base scripture. Genesis chapter 4 verse number 10. The Bible says that the Lord said, what have you done? Listen, listen to me, listen to me Cain. Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. That, that, that was the first incident in the Bible that we could hear blood talking. And I read this for you to understand that the Bible says that the blood of Abel was crying from the ground. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that if something can cry, it means that that thing has a mouth. Am I talking to somebody? And go with me to Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 24. God told me four things that the blood is going to do for you. In that area of your life. I'm just going to talk about it just for 21 minutes. He said to, to, to Jesus. The mediator of the new covenant. And to the sprinkled blood. That speaks a better word. Than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel was speaking. But the blood of Jesus. Is going to speak better things for you. And in this Easter season. On this Holy Thursday. 
My main prayer for you and my prophecy that if there is any negative voice that is speaking against your life by the reason of the spoken blood, not the blood of Abel, but the blood of Jesus that carries power. I pray in the name of Jesus that may that blood speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. I want them to help me with the sound because I'm already heated up. I'm already heated up. And I pray that may somebody receive a great miracle and a great testimony in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your hand, shout the blood. Come on, shout the blood. Come on, shout the blood. Come on, shout the blood. Shout the blood. Isaiah chapter 54, verse number 18. Verse number 18. Isaiah chapter 54, verse number 18. I love to read scriptures so that you would understand. Verse number 18. Verse number 18. You read it, 17. So it, it says it. Everybody knows it. Amen. Quickly, quickly, 54. Quickly. Oh. No weapon formed against you will prevail. And you will refute, you will condemn every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. The first part that I want to talk about that God told me today is that we are going to condemn, number one, any negative voice against our marriages. Any negative voice against our marriages. This is what God God told me, he said, that a voice that comes to marriage is number one. It causes confusion and makes the spouse sees the other spouse as an enemy. I have heard so many people tell me stories. They will leave the house and when they were leaving the house, everything was very nice. But by the time they came back, their partner had changed on them. And I've seen people that have invested money into marriages. 20 years of marriage. 26 years of marriage. And all of a sudden, the man that was like a sheep. All of a sudden, the man has turned into a beast. It is a voice that has been speaking to against that marriage. But you know something? I see the blood of Jesus. And that blood is speaking. And that blood is speaking. Any negative voice speak. Any negative voice speaking against your marriage by the blood of Jesus, we condemn it in the name of Jesus. Shall I condemn it right now? Come on, shall I condemn? Shall I condemn? Shall I condemn? Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18. I don't care what the sound is doing, I'm still going to preach. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18 and 19. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18 and 19. May your fountain be blessed. Oh, may your fountain be blessed. Someone shout amen. amen. Come on, shout amen. amen. May your fountain be blessed. Come on, shout the loudest amen. amen. And this is for every married couple. May you rejoice in the wife of your youth. Oh, come on, shout a big amen for that. Oh, I like this one. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breast. Oh, Jesus, I like this scripture. May her breast satisfy you always. Oh, if you're a married couple, shout, I am blessed. Oh, come on, I'm reading the Bible. Shout, I am blessed. Yes, it, it says that, may, may, may her breast. Oh, my God. So, this is in the Bible? Jesus, may her breast satisfy you. I, 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 I thought that breast was for babies. But oh my God, there are some men when they enter into the bedroom, they turn into babies. In the spirit fighting your marriage by the blood of Jesus, I stop it in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, shout the loudest, amen. And I prophesy anybody looking for marriage, I speak, may the blood release favor over your life. You will marry and enjoy. You will marry and enjoy. I release Miracles over your marriage. Uh, any voice speaking against your marriage, uh, may the voice of the blood of Jesus, uh, may that voice speak for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, come on, shout the blood. Come on, you got to shout the blood. Shout the blood. 
May you ever be captivated by her love. May you ever be captivated by her love. I heard a testimony of a woman in Nigeria. The husband changed all of a sudden. And by prayer and prophetic direction, the husband came back to the senses. And guess what? The husband was confessing that any time he sees the wife's face, the wife's face will turn into something like an old woman. So guess what? You are doing everything. You are wearing everything that will entice the man. But your face has been turned into an old. Guess what? There is a voice speaking in the marriage. But God told me to announce to somebody, if there is a storm in your marriage right now, I command that storm to cease. I command that storm to cease. May the blood of the lamp, may that blood speak for you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Shout the blood. Come on, 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 shout the blood. Shout the blood. If you're a married person here, rise onto your feet. Married person. Married, married, married person. Lift your hands. May God bless your marriage. I said, may God bless your marriage. Your partner will not change. In the name of Jesus, the blood will speak for you in Jesus' name. Do you know what I just heard? If there is any strange woman, Kadini Maya, any strange woman that has taken your husband's picture to a babalawo or a juju man so that your husband will not treat you well, may the blood fight them. I said, may the blood fight them. Somebody shout the blood. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You, you ladies got to help me, please. I beg you. I told you I'm in fast for 30 days. But the sound is not born again. But I'm still preaching. Am I doing good? Yeah. Number two. Any voice, negative voice against your health. Any negative voice against your health. Negative voice. Ladies and gentlemen, Listen to me, listen to me. For you to walk here, drive, sit in a bus, and come here, it's a miracle. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you may as prosper and be in good health. Good health means that there is bad health. But you know something? Thank God for the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is not a clotted blood. It's a flowing blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, if there is any hidden sickness in your body, in your kidney, am I prophesying to somebody? In your liver, in your intestines, on your heart, in your brain. Do you know what I just said? I just heard, I just heard that Brian cancel blood clot in the brain. Everybody put your hands on your head. Any, listen, you don't have to joke with such a service. Any blood clots in your brain by the flowing blood of Jesus, I command it to melt away. Somebody saw the blood. Saw the blood. Saw the blood. Sit down. Sit down for one minute. Am I preaching to somebody at all? Oh, Gadili Gabadalaba. You will never visit the hospital anymore. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. Quickly, 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 quickly. I got just 15 minutes left. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. The Lord will keep you free from every disease. Oh, I'm prophesying. The Lord will keep you free. Mention your name, so the Lord will keep me free. Come on, mention your name, so the Lord will keep me free. And in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is going to bless your water. The Lord is going to bless your food. And the Lord is going to take disease from your body. I prophesy over everybody in this place. In the hidden sickness in your body, by the reason of the blood, the blood will speak and the blood will heal you. I said the blood will speak and the blood will heal you. Somebody holler the blood. 
Come on, shout the blood. Come on, shout the blood. Let me read a testimony to you right now. Let me read a testimony. Put your two hands on your belly right now. Am I blessing somebody? Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory. The blood. The blood. The blood is going to speak. The blood is going to speak. Oh, I like this. Where is it? Where is my WhatsApp? About the lady in California. What is really happening? Nathan, is it the internet? What? It's okay. Are you sure? If you don't work it out, I will plead the blood. I'm serious. I want to read it to you. I want to read it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my God, where is it? Prophet Apostle Holly's daughter went for her checkup and she is healed from diabetes. The doctor told her that whatever thing she is doing, she should, she should keep doing it. They were amazed. Many miracles are happening. This was a lady that the doctors have said that your diabetes, it can never go. But I was in California and the mother who's an apostle brought this lady and I said, come to me. And I looked at diabetes. Guess what? If anything is speaking, it means the thing has an eye and the thing has a face. So I look at diabetes. I said, I rebuild diabetes by the blood of Jesus. And just after one week, they went to the hospital and diabetes is gone. Can I look at that sickness in the face? That cancer in the face? And I command cancer to leave your body. I command migraine to leave your body. You can never die before your time. You will live to declare the words of the Lord. Receive the blood. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. Somebody get up, shout the blood. Come on, shout the blood. Shut the blood. Shut. Listen. If you have visited the hospital before, you will know that sickness is not good. I'm telling you. A strong man, a rich man, but sickness can put you down. If they have written your name on any hospital bed, by the fire of God, I break that bed. <laughs> Lift your hands. Get up. You are going to shout the blood and listen. As you shout it, if there is any boil or any growth in your body, it's melting. Under this atmosphere, anything can happen. Lift your hands. You are going to shout the blood for seven times. And if there is any growth, some of you, fibroid is going to melt right now. And tomorrow we are going to enter into some serious healing service. If you are sitting down, you better get up. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. If I shout number one, you shout the blood. Hey! If I shout number one, you shout the blood. Number one! You got to shout it. Number two! Number three! Number four! Number five! Number six. Last one. I prophesy over your life. Sickness will never be your portion. I said sickness will never be your portion. And the Bible says, I shall not die, but I will live to declare the words of God. Receive long life. Receive good health. Shall I receive it? Sit down. Am I preaching somebody at all? God, daily my The devil is a liar. I said, the devil is a liar. I see them having a conspiracy. And I see one man by the name Judas. Somebody holler Judas. Oh, come on, you got to shout this out, Judas. And 
can see Judas with some group of people going to betray our master. Ladies and gentlemen, I was learning something yesterday. I don't blame Judas. If it wasn't Judas, Jesus wouldn't have gone to the cross. So sometimes you got to look at the Judases in your life and send them text messages and say thank you because guess what? It was the Judases in your life they made you prayerful. The Judases in your life they help you to get closer to God. So sometimes you got to thank God for Judas in your life. Am I talking to somebody at all? And this is what God told me. He said, what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around. And I prophesy over... Listen. Something happened in my house. Am I preaching? Something happened in my house. I was in America and my wife called me. And he said, Ryan, the boiler or something. I want to use some term. You know, my wife, my wife is an English girl, so she used some thing. She said, the boiler just exploded. <laughs> and you know, my wife was a bit scared. I said, so what are you going to do? She said, I'm going to go to my mommy's house. <laughs> so guess what? I was a bit worried in America. That, why? What is happening? So, you know, and you know, if you're a prophet, everything, you have to Try and diagnose the spiritual connotations. That why would the boiler break? But I was praying and God said, Brian, the boiler broke for your own good. I said, how? I came to London. I said, that big girl, call the people to come and check the boiler. The people came, one white man, tall white man, and one short Indian man. Me, I went to the Indian man because the white man, the English, I can't really relate. So I went to the Indian man. I said, my friend, what's going on, my friend? He said, you guys are lucky. I said, what's it? He said, your house, there is something in your house called asbestos. I said, what is that? Is it a Greek word or a Hebrew word? He said, if that thing stays in your house for long and you keep inhaling it, it can kill you. As best what? As best toss. So, I said, so what are we going to do? He said, you got to remove it. I said, how much is it? He mentioned the price. I said, Come on, asbestos or whatever. He said, even if we finish removing it, you have to do an air test to check whether your house is free from. I said, so. He said, oh, he said, there are a lot of houses in England. It has it. Am I right? Yes. So do you know? So I went upstairs. And God said, Brian, I told you it was for your own good. Why? If the boiler hadn't broken, we would never see that. Some of you, if the man hadn't broken your heart, you wouldn't see the power of God. For all things went together for the good of them that love the Lord. Am I talking to somebody at all? I prophesy. May God turn things around. Come on, Saria. Saria. Madala Kadaba. The devil is a liar. What the devil evil meant for evil. May the God of London prayer center may that God turn it around. Can I prophesy to some people in this place? May God turn your life around. May God turn your life around. Get up and shout. Yes! Am I preaching somebody at all? So get to Sit down. Sit down. If the boiler had been boom. We'll be living there. Wait. As bad, whatever. But guess what? God turn it around. Do you know something? You have lost something, eh? but it was for your own good. The most happiest day in my life is when Jesus died. Because if he hadn't died, he wouldn't have resurrected. 
So sometimes it's good you are dying. Because when you die, you are coming back. And on Sunday, I'm going to teach you something. That God intentionally picks people he loves and kills them so that he will take the glory. So you are going through something. It, it, it's because God loves you so much. Am I talking to some believers in this house? In the next 21 days, if I be a prophet of God, I prophesy. May God turn things around. Somebody shall turn around. So turn around. Say yes. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, I'm preaching good to somebody. Are you ready for this one? The voice against your finances. This one in England is speaking against everybody. Do you believe that? No, I'm telling you. You can work and work and work and work, but the voice is still talking. Sharp teeth is talking against your finances. Some of you, you don't even have a hundred pounds. 200 pounds. Someone is even saying, Pastor, even 50 pounds self, you, you know how. But I learned something in the book of Proverbs, chapter 10. It said, the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich, and it added no soul. Can I prophesy to some group of millionaires here? May the blood of Jesus, may that blood speak for you in your finances. Anything that makes you work hard, you work hard, you work hard, but you don't have anything to show forth. If I be a man of God, may God turn things around. The blessings of the Lord, it make it rich. Open your palms, everybody. I'm releasing silver and gold over your life. I have seen these testimonies over and over. It is time for us to enjoy the fruit of our labor. I see you owning houses. I see you building businesses. The hour cometh and now is. If I be a man of God, I prophesy over your life. Receive the blessings of the Lord. That causes men to be rich. Open your palms, everybody. Receive it right now. Shall I receive it? Shall I receive it? Shall I receive it? The blood will speak for you. Sit down. Psalm 37, verse 25. Am I doing good? Eight minutes, I'm done. I got do rabba. Psalm 37, verse 25. I was young, and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. I refuse you to beg for money. Are there some believers in this house at all? I said, I stand as your prophet. You will never beg again. I can't tell him, I, uh, somebody said, never again. Come on, shout it. Said, never again. In the spirit on the pound. In the spirit on the pound. That makes you force and get this pounds. In the name of Jesus. God has caused me to raise millionaires. May you be one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. The silver and the gold, they belongs to my father. Receive it right now. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Bring the strings up. Zunali mayadaba. Leyanda baba. I 
Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Do you know what I'm seeing? Do you know what I'm seeing? Diga da, bring it up. Mayaduli mayadaba. Angels. Angels. There are some of you. You've been afraid. You are afraid. Guess what? You are afraid of tomorrow. You are afraid of tomorrow. Some of you, 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 you are afraid for your children. You are afraid for your life. But this is your way. He said, because of that, so do not fear. For I am with you. I am with you. I am encouraging somebody tonight. For I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I am your God. I am, I am your God. I am your God. I am your God. That died, died. And they put some spears. The Bible said blood and water. It came out. He was suffering from hemohydrosis. Instead of the sweat gland to secrete sweat, blood was gushing out. It was because of me and you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something. 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 We have the blood. We have the blood. We have the blood. Kaduli. Mayanduka Baba. Sickness is leaving this place. Sickness is leaving this atmosphere. Sickness is leaving this atmosphere. Diabetes is leaving this atmosphere. My God, I feel it. 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 I, feel it. I need to cut what I'm saying. And said, for, for I am your God. I, I will. I will strengthen you. Oh my God. There is somebody here. Your strength is going down. But God says, I should tell you, he will strengthen you. He will strengthen you and I will help you. God said, I should tell you, He will help you. I said, God will help you. I said, God will help you. Your mother will leave you. Your friends will leave you. Am I preaching to somebody at all? Your, 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 your friends will leave you. But my God, my God, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in Christ's glory. I feel the anointing in this place. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Do you know what I just heard? If there's been any negative handwriting, Negative handwriting, negative handwriting, by the blood of Jesus is cleaning off. It's 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 cleaning off. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody. I see six people. The anointing of God is going to hit you strong. You cannot stand on your feet. Maduli kabayaba. Close your eyes. Lift your two hands up. Lift your hands. Liba robo shata papa. Hey, rika duli maya tapaya. Maduli kapaya pa. Ruma ya deli kapaya pa. Hey, zingu dalapaya pa. Landuli maya tapapa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down for one minute. Sit down for one minute. That brother just entered here. Come to me. That brother. That brother, yes. Bring him. Bring him. Listen to me. You got to be sensitive, everybody. Do you know something? I didn't know you were going to come to church. But I saw this man in my dream. And for him to come here is a sign that God is here today. <laughs> if you don't know what has happened to this man, I will say this man died. He died. And by the reason of the blood of Jesus. Oh, come on. Am I? Am I? Am I talking to somebody? You got to get the protocol. You got to be serious. This Easter convention, I beg you. Don't let my attitude come. I beg you. For you to be standing is a miracle. I do know what just happened. Oh, my endele, madabaya. 
Listen, listen to me. What I'm feeling right now, eh, you have no idea. I've been praying. Where's, where's, the, where's the girl that came to my house? Where's the girl that came to my house? I said to her something. Ask her. She came to her house too. What's the lady? Something is happening to her. I'm telling you, you got to be serious. And you got to give me some strength. I'm, I'm, I've entered another realm. And I don't want anything to stop me. Protocol. Five people on one person. Why? Is that how you protocol? This man. This man. This man. Was just going out with their wife. Was sitting in a taxi. Was going to sit down in a taxi. The head hit the top of the taxi. For one week. He told the wife. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. Two weeks. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. The wife said let's go to the hospital. When they got there they said you have a blood clot. And they had to do so many surgeries. This man died. And we were doing direct things. The wife was calling. We said, take my bina, take this. And the blood, that speaks a better word. There are some people, woman, woman, get up, get up. You, who is Ashley? Huh? Your daughter, come. My eyes have been opened. Put all your hands on the strings. Stand there. There is something happening in this realm. My eyes have been opened. And I saw that this woman was traveling on a very long road. And as she was traveling, Three dogs, dogs, but they were human beings. They met this woman, and one of the dogs had swallowed Ashley. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. So, as I was talking and talking about this man, the Spirit of God said, Brian, go to that woman and cancel the assignment of the dog to kill Ashley by Monday. If your daughter hasn't told you when she is there, then she's afraid that she's about to die. Huh? This morning, um, she wanted to... Come, come here, come here. Please, I hope you haven't told me anything. Come. Pastor, normally they sleep by themselves in their room. Uh-huh. But last night, she said, Mommy, I want to sleep with you. And then I said, okay, come to my room. So we slept together in the same bed. When we wake up in the morning, she said, Mommy, I have a dream. I said, what did you dream? She said, Mommy, a rat came and ate me off. Listen, listen, listen. Please, I beg you. We are not playing games here. I haven't spoken to her. For God. Listen. Whoever that has turned into that rat today, we are going to send the blood, the blood. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sit down. Maya delicata mayaba. Something is happening. Listen, whilst you are sitting down, eh, I see chains being broken. Woman, I see something being broken. They have tied you, horses. They have tied this woman. They have tied you for the past 17 years. But I see you being changed. Listen. The chain is coming out right now. Receive it. Receive it. I set you free. Come to me. Whoever. Stand there. I want few people to be standing. I stand into a dog. 
and you heard, you saw what God told me? The same thing, the little girl, Ashley, 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 who is Mary? Mary. <laughs> Get up. An old woman has buried all your riches. But today, the blood is fighting that old woman. Come on, hey, hey. You got to clap your hands and appreciate God. Your wealth, your wealth was supposed to be mind-blowing. But you know something? The people in your family, they are very wicked. But today, if I be a man of God, I command your wealth to come back to you. Come on, you better clap your hands and you got to receive. Somebody shout the blood. Shout the blood. Shout the blood. Shout the blood. blood. Health. Tomorrow all night, I told you the prophetic is starting at 10. I'm going to prophesy till 12. Listen, I'm not ask where's I to ask her. Today she came to our house to plant the hair, the hair of my, my, my daughter. I've not eaten. No. I've been fasting, waiting on God. And I've been praying. Today I was fasting. My wife started cooking jollof again. I said, You this woman, you're a devil. Because Jesus called Peter Satan. He said, Satan, get thee behind me. So I'll be upstairs, I'll be praying. I said, Abby, is the jollof ready? Hey. Do you know what I'm seeing? I see chains eh, being loosed. Sir, put your hands in this oil. Rub your palms. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a multi-millionaire. You know him? You're, you're supposed to be a multi-millionaire. You know that? Yeah. But they have taken your money. A strong man. An old woman in your family has vowed that you, you can never make it. But listen, I give you two years. I said, I give you two years. Amen. Your wealth is coming back to you. All those that shouted amen, eh? Receive it. Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain, Jesus, rain. Kadorobo shatata. King of Zion. Zion, rain. Rain, 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 Jesus. Gaduli rabadele mayanama. <laughs> Can I profess her? Can I profess her? You know, you, you know what, what I'm seeing? I see cups, eh? Cup full of blood. And it's like dripping on everybody. Everybody. It's like this. It's like this. Cup, eh? And it's pouring on everybody. And nothing should tell me that is the blood of Jesus. So you got to be sensitive in this atmosphere. What's your name? Mary. What did you see in your dreams? What did you see? Uh, a rat was about to eat me. And, uh, and then I told my mom that a rat about was, was about to eat me. 
was about to eat you. How old are you? Four, six. I hope apart from you, she hasn't told anybody this dream. Who else? Same room with you, and then I said, Okay, come, come and sleep with me. And it started, I dreamed first before she dreamed. Get up, you, you, no, you, yes. How many children do you have? They want one of your son to die in an accident. Come. Die in an accident. Praise the Lord. Pray the strings. Come to me. Huh? I saw went to Lagos to give my sister things to give me. Yeah, in wait, Lagos. wait. Your son. Yes, my last born. Uh-huh. About three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, Lord Jesus, thank you for everybody. Clap your hands, shout fire! Shout fire! Oh, come on, come on, shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Come to me as this little girl was talking. I saw that this woman was in black, eh? but she was full of tears, and they had killed their son in an accident in Nigeria. Nigeria. Woman, what happened? My sister was about coming to London. Uh I asked my last son to go and give her some stuff for me. Uh On her way back home, she has really got into my city. I don't know. They, said, they just said a woman just crossed their road. And where my son was sitting in front of the bus, that was where the driver turned to the trailer. Please, when did this it's, happen? It's about three, four, about three weeks ago, I think. Thank God for London Prayer Center. Thank God for London Prayer Center. Listen, listen. Some of you, eh? Until you have been through something. You will never understand why people shout. Prophet Brian, three people died in the vehicle. What? But the Lord wait, 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 wait. Three people died. Hit the trailer, but the Lord of Lord of. Are you are you sitting down? Hey. Ah ah ah! Whoever that planned that, may it go back to you. Somebody is about to send that. So fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down, sit down. Maya duli and dala mayaba. Tomorrow is a holiday. Kadili maya daba. Do you have the three things you don't want to see ever again in your life? You brought it. So see, if this woman would have been in England, and they would have called her that your son is dead. Tell you, I saw a vision about a beast with four eyes that wants to attack people's families. When you are coming to church, you don't leave your children behind. Thank God for prophecy. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Open your mouth and speak in tongues for one minute. Speak in tongues. 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 Come. 
Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Enjoying the service? Are you enjoying the service? Yes. If you are not coming for tomorrow's night vigil, let me see your hand. I'll mark you as a suspect. <laughs> Why are you here? You are the one here. Let me pray for you. I set you free. I have no other God. I have no other God but you. Katoliba Shata. Jesus. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Get up. Where do you come from? Follow me. A woman will call you. A woman will call you. Is that Princeton? Princeton. How's your wife? I've not heard from you long time. Stand there. A woman will call you in the next four months. The day the woman will call you will be a Tuesday. The name of the woman is Joyce. The woman will want to meet you somewhere. Don't meet. If you meet the woman, the woman will kill you. Hmm. Take off my shoes for me. Take off my shoes. Take off my shoes. We are going to take two prayers. Who invited you to the church? Who? Open your palms. Tanya brought you. Touch your head. Touch your head. I cover your life. I see a woman here. Eh? Listen to me. Listen to me. Shh. I see a woman here. Your husband has slept with a girl. Okay, listen. Your husband has slept with a girl. The girl is the head of the witches. All right? And the girl wants to kill your husband. Listen, the next time your husband is going to sleep with a girl, your husband will die having, during sex. Do you know why I know? Because the person here God has showed you the girl in your dream. And you know. If you are not shy, you can come right now. But if you are shy, you can come and see me after the service. <laughs> are you enjoying the service? There is something called prophecy. Come here, stand here. Namibia, stand here. Listen. The God that kept your son, that God is going to keep you. Amen. You will not hear any bad news. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Who is Florence? Your, your senior sister that died. Your mom. Oh, come. You know what I saw? I saw that you were going to go back to Nigeria, but within one week, they will tell you that you have heart attack and you die. But it's cancelled. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. All the men, get up. All the men. If you know you're a man, you know you're a man. You know you're a man. You know you're a man. 
A ministry, no. Huh. Are you enjoying the service? Mm -hmm. All the men, stretch out your palms. Stretch out your hands, your hands. Your hands. Any voice speaking against your finances, may the blood counter it. Amen. Some of you, if you love your husbands and they are not here, you can shout for them. Amen. May the blood counter it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout the blood. Amen. All the men sit down. The men get up again. Get up again. Now lift your hands high above your head. Lift it high. High. High above your head. I declare you, listen, every man is the head of the family. I declare you the head and never the tail. Amen. I said I declare you the head and never the tail. Amen. Receive the grace to be the head. Amen. Shut, I receive it. Amen. Shut, I receive it. Sit down. Are you enjoying the service? Are you sure? Are you at that level? Tomorrow is holiday, right? Right? Right, right. Um, where, where am I? I'm in Nigeria now. Eh? Namibia. First Namibia. All right. Nigeria, Namibia, Sierra Leone. Where, where you come from? Zimbabwe. Hey, today... Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Niger uh, Zimbabwe, Sierra Leone, U.S., Nigeria. Hey, today Nigeria, a lot of Nigeria. Come. Kneel down. In the next two months, God will give you a testimony. Amen. Go. All those that are clapping, receive that testimony for yourself. From this side, all of you, get up to the back. Get up from this side. What's your name? Sorry, it's me. Do you know me? Where? Your first name is familiar. Have you been here before? When? Who invited you? Are your first name is familiar? Were you living in our area? Really? But when you met me, when you knew me, I was a pastor. I'm a pastor. You see what I do to you. <laughs> Lift your hands. Lift your hands. If there is any accident coming to anybody on this direction, as I have stressed out my hand, I reverse it. Amen. Please, you got to shout amen. amen. I reverse it. In Jesus' mighty name. I said, I reverse it. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift your hands. Those here. Shout reverse. reverse. Come on, shout reverse. reverse. Now. now. Sit down. <laughs> Are you enjoying the service at all? Don't worry, I'll close very soon. Namibia. What did I say? What did I tell you? Uh, yes. I'm going to pray for the spirit of discernment for you. All right. Kneel down, Namibia. Sir, put your hands on your head. Mention the highest money you want to see in your life. Billions. What billion? 100 billion. Huh? 100 billion pounds. Go ahead, sit down. This, this family need prayers. No, 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 no. What I'm seeing is terrible. They need prayers. Namibia, let me pray for you. Let me see you tomorrow, all right? Let me see you tomorrow. Go. Um, you, you are done. Nigeria, you are fine. Go. Come. After your incidents, are you now coming to church? Your first time? Oh, okay. I had traveled to America. Sit here. 
Wow. Are we giving a testimony? But you came late. Um, all of you, leave there. Leave there. As you sit down. Hold your hands. Please. Should we help this family? Yes. Listen, whatever prayer you are praying is going to you. So make sure. Get up. Yes. Is that your daughter? Is that your daughter? Oh. That, that's your daughter. Come to me. You need prayers. That's your daughter. Do you know she, she needs prayers? She needs strong prayers. Come to me. Have you, have you been here before? No, no, no. You have not been on the other side. Not be on the other side. You like other side. Everything other side, other side. Three years. You are still talking about other side. Why? Who, who took move forward? You have never been on the other side. You have never been on the other side. Hey, go, go, go. Go and sit down. Go. Go and sit down. Stop with your hands. Other side. Ah. Nice girl. Do you know, God, do you know what was about to happen in the family? Eh? God showed it to you. Showed it to you. Stop with your hands. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Pray. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Please open your mouth. Open your mouth. Pray two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Hey! Change the key now. Bravo, Shadaba. Somebody pray. Bravo, Baba. Somebody pray. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Rabo Shada da da da. Yes. We give you all. Yeah. This family will never die. Give me water. Give me water. Water. We will. Covering. Your feet, everybody, rise onto your feet. Rise onto your feet. Come on. We worship you. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. We will 
worship you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. To this family is coming. Adam, go. Clap your hands. Bring her to the. Give me a chair. This is the last thing you are doing for the families. You know what I'm saying? The, the last thing I was going to talk about, because of the time, I had lots of things for the preaching. Let's do something. The voice against families. Sit down for one minute. I have not, I didn't even start my message. Bring her. I don't know why I came to you. Bring her. You've been here for three years. You are now talking about other stuff. Sit down. How old are you? 30. Huh? 30 years old. 30 years old. What's happening to you? I'm suffering from mental health illnesses. Anybody suffering from mental cannot say it like that. Woman, it's a spiritual thing. Does she have a child? Two, Two children. Yeah. Woman, Oh my God, you know, here our problem is time. Oh. I'm telling you, our problem is time. But me, I don't like to delay people. Because my daughter is at the back. Anea, hello, my daughter. <laughs> come, 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 come. Come to daddy, come to daddy. Hey, please, I beg you, leave her before she closes the service. I'm telling you. That's why t- tomorrow, 10, eh, right at 10, K room. And tomorrow, eh, you, if by 10 you are not here, music director, by 10 you are not here. Tomorrow is the day we are burying Jesus. I will bury you with him. <laughs> but on, on Sunday, only him will come. You, you still be there. I'm telling you. Woman, what harm did you do to help her? The person you helped last July is the person that has caused for them to take off your pain. I didn't mention anybody's name, but last July. This woman helped somebody, gave the person 270 pounds, and the person has used it, and they've taken the pain number from this woman and said that this woman, you will suffer and struggle. Listen. You went to build a hospital, but you even borrowed some money from other people to do it. And they've locked up all the money. It's the person you helped in July. Discern who to help in life. All the men, get up again. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing something. I command wealth to locate your life. Come on, shout the loud and say amen. Sit down. Stretch out your hands. Stretch out your hands for this woman. Stretch out your hands. Now receive the oil of grace. Divine restoration is coming to you. Please, stretch out your hands. Pray for this woman. One minute. Pray for this woman. Pray for this woman. Get up. Who is Eric? Huh? My brother. Your brother. Come. Some people are killing him right now. Some people are killing me. I, I laid hands on her. The spirit of God said, deliver the boy. Deliver the boy. Some people. My yada baya. Oh my God, I wish I got time. I wish I got time. I wish I got time. You got to give me space. When I enter into a realm, eh? Listen, your problem is that you are too good. Do you know that? You are too good. If it was pastor that even asked you money, you won't give. But you are ceremony just like that. I give you 28 days. Take a bath, take a bath. 
Take her back. I give you 28 days. May your miracle come to you. Oh, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, my God, I feel it. Oh, oh the blood of Jesus. It washes, it washes. It was his, my God, my God. There is power, power, one, the work in power, in the blood of the Lamb. Take the three things you don't want to see, take it up, take it up, come on. There is power. Take it up. The three things you don't want to see. Pick it. The prayer. This boy's future is very bright. Whose son is that? Whose son? Your son. The future is very, very bright. Where did it come from? Your future is very bright. Sit down. Who? Huh? Brother Daniel said it. It's, it's your son, eh? You just received a, a confirmation. I won't see. Brother Daniel said it. It's okay, eh? My friend, your hair. Have you, is that your red hair? Is that a red hair? It's too nice. Why did God give you this hair and me this hair? Huh? Mm. Your hair is like Pastor Chris. You know Pastor Chris. Ayadala <laughs> baya. Roba yaba. Are you enjoying the service? Sir. Tomorrow. All right. Try and come. Come early. All right. Is that at 10? Is that at 10? Be here. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. Exodus 13. What did I say? Your, your brother, your brother, I'm coming. Exodus chapter 13. This is your last one. The last person you deal with. Then Exodus chapter. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. Moses answered to the people, do not be afraid. Can I prophesy to somebody? Do not be afraid. Stand firm. And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. Come on, I said today. I said today. I'm not talking about next year. I said today. I said today, today. God will deliver you. And that's what I like. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. Can I say something? The things that you have written down, you will never see again. Yeah. Open it. Open it. Open it. And read it. You will never see it. Sit down and cross your leg and read it. You have power over it. Read it right now. Financial instability. Read it. Read it. I'm giving you two minutes. My time is up. So don't give me 14 envelopes. Give me 14 envelopes before I share the envelopes for tomorrow. Nice girl. We're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you. Ah, ah, why did they do that? Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, 
Read it. Honorable, read it. Honorable, read it. Read it. The Egyptians, the financial instability, the sickness, the cancer you see today, you will never see it again. Now you are going to lift up your right hand and shout it one time. What you are going to shout is never again. Wait, I'm going to shout, I'm, when, I, when I count number one, all what you shout is never again. Shout it till your lungs begin to talk. Are we finished reading it? Yes. Hey, some of you, we told you to write three things. Some people have written 30 things. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. If I shout number one, you shout never again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. We got to relax. We got to relax. Ah. This girl sitting there, if you see what I'm seeing, this girl, this girl, this girl, oh, 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 fine girl. Lift it up. Listen, you got to believe it all. America in California, in San Bernardino, in Atlanta, Georgia. In Virginia, testimonies over testimonies. You are going to shout never again. Or what you are, you are shouting with your faith attached to it. My lady, where's your brother right now? What's he doing? They want to kill your brother during this Easter season. Lift it up. If I shout number one, you shout never again. Are you ready? Please shout it. This is the last one. What we are doing? Number one. <laughs> fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it like this. Fold it. I'm going to take it later on. That's the last time I'm going to take. I'm going to take it. So keep it. Keep it well. Listen. Don't take it home. Don't take it home. If you take it home, you are taking it back to your house. Don't take it home. Are you, are you blessed? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Because of time, I'm going to talk to you about your brother. But I'm going to pray a prayer for you. That may God keep and protect your blood, brother. By the reason of the blood of Jesus. Tomorrow, I got to see. You have your t-shirt? Wow. Please, everybody, get your t-shirt after the service, all right? Sit down. Sit down.